Hey everybody, welcome to the dawn of yet another Golden Goblet. Today, um, we're playing our first Golden Goblet on Switch, so get, get used to this angle. Get used to this angle from me right here. We're going to be playing Mario Maker 2 levels. Uh, I scouted them all. They have a clear rate of between 1 and 3%. Uh, let's start with the obvious. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've been playing a lot of Mario Maker 2 for, for Checkpoint League. I've been playing a little bit on streams. There's been a little bit of a renaissance. Dan's been playing in Checkpoint League, and Malf's been playing on his streams. I do have an advantage, so we're trying something new. And the newness that we're trying is, what if we did a Golden Goblet with a handicap to try to minimize the skill gap? So, I think for now we've been talking, whoever beats the course fastest wins. However... Malf gets a 5 minute handicap, which means if he beats it in 15 minutes, his time is 10 minutes. Or, sorry, Malf gets a 10 minute handicap. So if he beats it in 15 minutes, he actually beat it in 5 minutes. Dan gets a 5 minute handicap, so if he beats it in 15 minutes, he actually beats it in 10 minutes. And I'm, I'm a scratch golfer. Whatever my time is, is my time. If it, if it ends up being too generous of a handicap, sure. We're just, we're experimenting. If it ends up not being generous enough, we're experimenting. So here we go, day one. Um, I also, we're, we're working this out. We don't know how long the videos are going to be. I'm going to... I'm kind of like the Rorschach test, or I guess I'm the litmus test. We're going to see how long this takes. I'm going to set a timer for like 20 minutes just to see if, the, if that's appropriate, and we'll, we'll play it by ear. Wel welcome to the test run. 20-minute timer, please. Here we go. This is uh, Bouncy Snowballs, a super expert level with a 2% clear rate from Louie Louie. Oh, baby, make me jump my Z's. So these are some of the highest rated levels um, of all time, or at least of this week. There's a little mix of both. For now, this is no problem. Very cool and interesting level so far. A little bit on the easy side for Checkpoint 1, don't you think, Louie? I mean, come on, we're coming off a Checkpoint League here. Ooh, okay, I don't know. Maybe maybe we need, like, a one-minute timer. <laughs> I mean, that was just absurd. I'm a little ashamed of it. This is a 2% clear rate? Am I losing my mind? Or have I just been playing too many Apollo levels? This is insane, dude. Yeet him! Oh! <laughs> we were almost there. So I was trying to... And again, this is how you know it's a test run. It's because we're still working on stuff like this, but... Uh, that's not the way you go. There's your problem there. <laughs> um, one of the reasons we're trying stuff out is, you know, we've never done anything like this before. They've never seen so much food as this. Uh, undergrounders have as much food as this. So I was like, what the heck is a good percentage point for a 20 to 30 minute video? And uh, I was like, I bet it's around 1 to 2. Some people said 5 to 6. And I was like, I don't know, that seems crazy to me. That seems like too easy. But then some people also said like 0.2%. And I'm like, I don't know about that. That seems like a little much to me. Okay, let's not and say we did. But this one, I mean, a 2% clear rate. Come on, this is... We're at, we're at comical levels here. No, I... What have I done? Where's the switch? Where's the switch? <laughs> I was in the pool. I don't know, I'm a little worried this level's gonna get completed in, like, no time flat here. This is what I'm concerned about, is I'm like, well, with the handicaps... If it takes me more than five minutes to beat the level, it's not possible for me to actually win. Or it's it's theoretically possible. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I have to get... Okay, we just wait that one out? Alright, well that's a bit of a problem. That was far too easy. Can we talk about the fact that this has a... 2% clear rate right now? I mean, I like the level, don't get me wrong. 2%? 50 deaths per clear? Who the heck is playing these levels? So I'm just gonna go, I mean... I guess I'm gonna go straight into day two here. Um, 
which is a level called Jump King Donut Jumps. And this is, uh, I mean, what can I say? This is why we're doing test runs here. One way or the other, you're going to get some view sync Mario Maker. I hope you're having a good time watching it. I think that it's possible that Apollo's uh, Checkpoint League levels have just made us so good that this is going to look uh, easy by comparison. So this is Jump King Donut Jumps from Bracky. So you do something like this. Okay, a little, a higher degree of difficulty, for sure. Now we're talking, okay. Maybe I can just, if this ends up being hard enough, I can just tell the boys, hey, bouncy snowballs. It's a nice little warm-up, but at the same time, I wouldn't rely on that to be a good indicator of who's, who's having the best run at Mario Maker. Yahoo! So I think you want to go... No, I'm so stupid. I thought you'd jump between the icicles and the saw, but that's very foolhardy of me. You're always going to be doing a falling donut jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, f you got to jump over the thwomp. You got to jump over the, the thwomp. You got to go yeah, and then fall, and then the donut jumps. This is... I'm embarrassed. Bouncy snowballs did not prepare me for the level of heat we were going to get in to here. Okay, okay, this is the ticket. All right, I'm ready. The dunk, got to jump on the donut, got to jump on the dough nut, got to jump, jump on the dough, got to jump on donut. Those are the lyrics. It was actually, this was a, an, a, an Elden John, Bernie Topin uh, joint originally. They got repurposed by Shigeru Miyamoto for release in this. It's the circle of donut jumps and it brings me a I don't know the words. I don't know the words to the circle of life. All I know is... There's more to see than can ever be seen. Motor, I shouldn't sing it. Disney, notoriously litigious Disney, if you're listening to this. I have Disney Plus. I'm a paying Disney Plus subscriber. And I watched Onward last night. And I recommended it on my social media platforms. So, please don't yeet me. That's a spicy jump. Are you? Do you see my... And I don't want to say confusion. But do you see where you, you find yourself um, in a very tricky role? If you want to be... The person picking the Mario Maker levels. This one has a slightly, a slightly lower clear percentage than Bouncy Snowballs. And there's something to be said for the fact that maybe it's just, you know, the skills that were good for me on Spicy Snowballs are not as good, or <laughs> Bouncing Snowballs are not as good for me on Jump King Donut Jumps. Um... You know, I, I play more Super Nintendo Mario than NES Mario. This thwomp is sending me. Okay, well, here's what you do. You take deep breaths. This is, this is an embarrassment so far. You jump, you jump, you get ready for the thwomp jump. You jump it, you fall. Now we're talking. Okay, so you're going to hold the jump button after that Galoomba, and you're going to be good to go. I know what you're saying. NL, that's not a Galoomba. That's just a Goomba. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. In my world... What? We don't gatekeep? They're all Galoombas to me. Let's go! Okay, that was a fun section. Now, what do you need me to do here? It's interesting. You genius! What is this Jigsaw-esque puzzle here? I didn't... That's amazing. What an incredible piece of new technology. He's done it. He's done it. And he's still doing it. Those, you just gotta, you jump and 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 you jump. There's no problem there. There's no problem there. Oh, this level is much more of Golden Goblet speed. Don't let them fall, dude. This is so bad for my team and me. I see that next section, too. We actually do have to let one of them fall so that we can make it through 
this part right here. Then we probably got to do a big bounce. Oh, you got to let that one not fall. That's all right, dude. I, I We're getting it. We're getting it. So here's what you do. You land and you go, yeah, this part is now textbook. I'm going to... This is inspiring me to make my own Mario Maker 2 levels again. Now, none of my levels were as good as Apollo's levels. And I know you're like, don't get down on yourself. It's just the truth. The man has substantially more practice than me. For one, I think he has a natural eye for it, but, you know, I think it would be braggadocious of me to be like, yeah, my levels are almost on his level. He's probably got like 200 hours of making levels. I've got like six. This is more Apollo-esque. A little easier. Maybe like 10 times easier, but Apollo-esque nonetheless. I, dude, can I just level with you? Whether or not this ends up being a great fit for Golden Goblet, first off, thank you for watching. Secondly, oh... I just love playing Mario Maker, dude. Like, hard Mario is like the perfect YouTube game. Easy Mario, bit of a snooze. Extreme Mario, I can get down with it, but sometimes it's a little much. But, oh, hard Mario, and I, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna enunciate that. Hard Mario is a dream come true. I know what I said. Dunky dunk. So we had a great moment of progression, and now we're back in regression. But you know what we say when we regress? We say, no ragrets. Keep it moving. Keep cycling those lungs. And try not to let yourself get squeezed onto that pipe. That pipe doesn't move. You might think because you're very strong, because you're a plumber. You have a blue-collar job that requires you to work with your hands. You got forearms like tree trunks. You might think you'd be able to move that pipe, but I promise you, that pipe is immobile. It's what happens when a stoppable force meets an immovable object. Oh, Luigi! He loves to take a drink in the grape jelly. Unfortunately, it's, it's too good. Luigi, he doesn't die from drowning, he doesn't die from the impact. He just eats too much grape jelly. It's not good for you. It's not, not, not in those quantities, at least. Okay, so maybe just like, yeah, preserve it, preserve it. Great work. Now what do we do here? You yeet it, and you... Ooh, not bad. Dude, this is like the perfect difficulty for Golden Goblet. This level is a big W. I still, honestly, I'm looking at the timer, and I'm like, I don't know if uh, it's mathematically possible for me to win if anybody else completes the level. What? <laughs> But that's okay. We can always work on that stuff. We're not the Golden Goblet. The purpose of it is entertainment. We'd love to compete with one another as well, but it's it's all entertainment driven, you know? So get ready. Yeah, yeah. Aye, 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 yeah, yeah. As long as you're entertained, all three of us are getting the gold medal. Now, of course, only one of us can actually get the gold medal. But we can all get a participation trophy made of made of pure gold. That is a spicy jump. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's possible we may not even want to jump on the spring. We might want to jump under the spring and just use the platform. You, you might be able to do both, but I'm, I'm guilty of looking for the cheese here, I'll admit. Looking for the cheese, looking for the cheese. Okay, so I'll tell you, for sure that's not what you want to do, is drop into the carbonated grape crush. We do have, you might be like, Grape Crush? In Canada, we got all sorts of crush sodas. We got, you know, your orange soda, but we got your cream soda. Sometimes you got the lime soda. Grapefruit soda. I'm, I'm not messing with you. You can look it up for yourself. That's the ticket. What are we doing there, though? Wow. Oh, he had it together, and then he let it fall apart. That's embarrassing. I like these sections, though. Like, these sections are nice and short. It really seems like if you master, like, two obstacles, you got the rest under control. So you just, you know, this is not even the challenge. This is the first challenge. Close. That one, I think I've just got to trust the falling in that one. It's hard to gauge when you should go because there's two falling objects, but... And, and I mean, you're jumping up. 
in case that wasn't clear. I think you just gotta trust. Maybe get some more momentum so you can get a high jump and still not hit your head on the spike, and then I think we're gonna get there. I like this, we're, we're puzzling it out together. That worked fine. Oh, and he just oils, he's got a Heelys on. If you touch the back of your shoe to the platform, but your shoes also double as clandestine rollerblades, that's what's gonna happen to you. We've all been there. I wanna roll through the halls of my high school, wearing my shoes that are also blades. Now we got that one, that one's under control. Look at that, a little mid-air adjustment. Never heard anybody except for the fans whose hearts broke. The egomaniacs out there. Wearing my merch at home. Mommy? When's... When's the streamer gonna make the jump? I don't know, sweetie. It's time we told you something about your favorite streamer. He's bad. What? I meant, I meant he's... He's bald. He's bald! That's a delightfully devilish jump. That's Apollo! That's him reaching through the screen like Psycho Mantis to let his profane influence infect another level. Oh, you couldn't just put two donuts there. You couldn't- you had to go with the baker's single. What's- what's a baker's single? Well, you know how a baker's dozen is 13. Baker's single? That's just one, but you gotta be a baker to eat it. Speaking of eating it. Dun 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 It's the NES physics, brother. I'm so used to 16-bit Mario. He's got twice as many bits. Half as much mass. Good jump. Good jumping, dude. He's done it. Look at that. Dunk a dunk a dunk a dunk. Dunk. Great level. Um, I had a wonderful time here, so just just call time on me wherever that was. I think this is definitely more appropriate for difficulty. So we're gonna say stage one. Jump King Donut Jumps. <laughs> If you enjoyed the episode, say, uh, I enjoyed the episode in chat. And of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Check out Malph and Dan's Perspectives. Click the like button, and I'll see you in the comments. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya. Da-dunka.